This is Flora. She's five years old. She's come into hospital with a swollen face, which is much more severe on one side than the other. She also appears to be malnourished. When Flora was born, her mother had already tested HIV positive, but had not yet started ART. She was given treatment to prevent mother-to-child transmission, and Flora was given nevirapine syrup for six weeks. Flora then breastfed for the first two years of her life. When Flora was 18 months old and still breastfeeding, both she and her mother became sick and were taken to the health centre. Flora's health passport shows she was malnourished with severe edema and anemia. She tested HIV reactive with a rapid test. Flora's mother was initiated on ART, but Flora did not start treatment at this time. Indeed, there's then nothing in her health records until she's almost three and a half. She was then taken to the health centre again because she was losing weight, was frequently sick and had severe anemia. Another HIV test was done, which again was positive. This time, she was initiated on ART. At this point, Flora weighed only 11.5 kilos. During her first year on ART, her weight and height were recorded at each visit, but no growth chart was filled out. This is what it would have looked like if it had been. During the seven months after initiating ART, Flora put on 8.5 kilos. She was above average weight for her age. Then, a year ago, the entries of height and weight in her health passport stop. She was documented as a defaulter. Her mother confirmed she stopped giving the medicines because Flora refused to take them. Three and a half months ago, now aged five, Flora was taken back to the health centre because she was again unwell. At that point, according to her health passport, she was still well nourished, this chart shows her BMI, which was 19.6. This was the last entry before her current illness. Now Flora has been brought to the hospital with a painful swelling on the right side of her face, which started a month ago. She also seems to be malnourished. Looking in her mouth, there appears to be an ulcerated wound around one of her teeth. The gum is very swollen and it's oozing pus. She's checked for any continuing signs of anemia. She's also given an assessment to see her nutritional status. She has clear signs of edema from her feet up to her hands and face. And despite the edema, she weighs six kilos less than she did just three months ago. The BMI growth chart shows an alarmingly fast decline from being over the average weight to a BMI of around 14, which is borderline for her age. Finally, she has candida in her mouth. Flora is admitted to hospital. She's referred to the dentist to look at the abscess on her tooth and given antibiotics. She's also started on a feeding program. Two weeks later, Flora is being reviewed by the ART clinic before being discharged. The ulcer in her mouth has been drained and it's healing. She's still on antibiotics, her cheek is still swollen and there's discoloration around one eye. This one has a ring around here. This one doesn't. 
Her conjunctiva is still quite pale. She still has slight edema, but there's an improvement from two weeks ago. And her weight has gone up from 13.7 to 14 kilos. So she's above the green line, huh? She's not been on ART now for more than six months, so this needs to be restarted. Flora's mother says that she's continued taking her own ARVs, but that she stopped giving them to Flora because Flora refused to take them. She's booked for group counselling and for adherence counselling to try to address this and to make sure that the same thing won't happen. Flora's mother says she has five children in total. Three are older than Flora. The youngest is only two months old and is breastfeeding. The baby's health passport shows that it received Neverapin syrup for six weeks after birth. Flora will go home with nutritional supplements but will need a follow-up at the hospital to make sure her mouth continues to heal and to review her ART.